<laughs> pharmaceutical industry was hoping to promote leptin as a, a natural uh, anti-obesity chemical uh, when they discovered it uh, limited appetite. But as it has developed over the last uh, 12 or so years, uh, it turns out that it is produced uh, when you overeat, especially on fat, and it's produced by fat cells, uh, especially in obese people, a lot of it is produced. And when you have a lot of it, and when the brain responds to it, it does shut off your appetite. But it also happens to activate inflammatory processes. And it, um, in, for example, in breast cancer, it's found to be uh, the signal that turns on the cancer metabolism called aerobic glycolysis, where the cancer, even in the presence of oxygen, uh, needs sugar or, or will uh, burn sugar at a high inefficient rate. Uh, so leptin turns out to be one of the means by which obesity causes its damage um, rather than being uh, some mysteriously uh, wonderful protective molecule. It's, it's part of our regulatory system, but in fat people it gets out of whack and causes uh, harmful effects rather than regulatory effects. 